Hello YouTube and hello to my dear subscribers. A new video from Karga. And today's video I want to dedicate to a game that has been released on Steam today, which is called Res Rock. Uh, it's in the title if you want to know how to spell it. Res Rock is a game that has been developed by check again Casido Games. And, uh, no, it's developed by Soapbox, published by Casido Games. And Res Rock is kind of a, a kind of a dungeon calling game. What got me to buy this game is the first the presentation of the game. Uh, you'll see it uh, soon in the gameplay. The presentation of the game is awesome. And the price point um, at this moment is just 9 euros. Normal price is 10 euros. So I think that's the same in dollars. You can buy this game for 9 dollars at the moment. And, uh, in this game there are a lot, uh, I think 100 or 120 dungeons to explore, so that's lots and lots of dungeons. And they give you 7 different characters. Uh, this game you will, you will dungeoneer with one character, so that's not a party based dungeon call, and you always do it with one character. And it's going to be rogue-like light. So let's let's say if I go in with my uh, my paladin, if she dies, you can use one of your other party members to let's say to revive her. When she dies, she will be captured in a jail and. If you manage to get to where the jail is with another party member in the same dungeon, she will come back alive or you will uh, get her back to safety. And that's how the roguelike works in this game. So if, if uh, four people, four party members died in the same dungeon and you still got three to go, and let's say the rogue manages to free these four, then everybody is back. So, but if everybody in your party gets captured, then it's game over and you have to start over. You start again the new game. So it's a little bit roguelike, but you always can save a member if she or he gets killed. And this game offers uh, a mage to play with, an archer, a paladin, a warlock, a rogue, a warrior and a summoner. So, the first thing we are going to do is rename our characters. Our mage I'm going to call Vilmelia, that's always my mage. Then we have an archer, I'm gonna call her Diana. Then we have a paladin, I'm gonna call her Whisper. I think paladin has some healing properties as well, so Whisper is nice. Then we have a Warlock, I'm gonna call him Loki. Then we have a Rogue, with a green skin, so we're gonna call him Poison. The Warrior has a big beard, so I'm gonna call him Atticus. And lastly we have a Summoner, and I'm gonna call her Jessica. Okay, so we have named our characters. And let's choose one to uh, start uh, exploring. And each one you can level up, you can find items. This game really looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. And let's select our Diana the Archer first. So, select Diana. And then world map. First mark gets unlocked with dungeon number one. So let's go in and see what's uh, 
how the game looks. Let's hope for a good perk. Increase damage done by air skills by 25%. Okay, that's not gonna help an archer much. Continue. Now I only gotta check OBS if I'm still recording. I am. So, this is how the game works and looks. It's a table. Uh, <laughs> how do you say that? Uh, tabletop. RPG, which is looking so great. Uh, here we got the table and our first room. We have, let's see, an inventory which is kind of empty. We only got five scrolls of returns. That's awesome. Then we get some trophies which I'm not interested in right now. Then we have the dungeon map. Here's the first floor. Or oh, the first room. And some options. Okay, let's see. Yes, let's remove the music. So, this is the first room. Um, ah, yeah, I learned not to step on these things, so we're gonna walk around. See what we can find here. We got a bow with 3 to 5 damage. It also increases your agility by 1. So if I'm gonna open my inventory now, it's equipped. Awesome. Okay, let's go to the next room. Uh, you, can ro you can rotate and <laughs> look how awesome this looks. It's the presentation of this game is so good. I really like this this kind of presentation. Okay, let's let's open this room. And we got Okay. Corridor. And here's the first room. Okay, we have a battle lock over here. Yes. Uh, yes, he's in my line of sight. Let's attack him with the bow. It's a larva, and he used a poison trap. But that's not going to hold me back. Oh, he, he, he can move twice. That should do it. 1 XP, and the enemy is defeated. Nice. What's in the barrel? Five healing potions. Oh, I'll really uh, I'll take them. Here we have a uh, rest cola, by the way. So let's check the map again. And that looks like a rat. Yeah, can I? Attack it from this distance. Cannot use auto attack. That target is not in line of sight. Okay. Let's first explore. Oh, a new skill. Power shot. Deals 125% ranged damage. Cool. So that's a good opener. There you go. <coughs> He's got two, two moves as well. <coughs> Him. One more XP, and that's swallow a healing. Actually, a swallow too. Okay, now let's explore this barrel. Small mana potion, take all. This what's behind this magical door? Whoa. Yeah, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, <coughs> but you cannot. Um, yeah, you can also rotate, but you cannot move. So your own your own character is always in the center of the screen. And what I also noticed in this game, this is not a mobile port, which is 
to my opinion awesome so when you're playing a mobile port mostly you are forced with stretched games but this game really renders in uh, the resolution your monitor is in so in, for my, in my case 9020 by 1080 so you got clear graphics no stretched mobile uh, nonsense so we got here a, a wizard let's uh, start with our opener <coughs> that's a good start actually um, Wow, minus 10. So, what I'm trying to do is um, if I stay here, he summoned the skeleton. If I stay here, I think this is a very good spot. An end turn. And just end the turn. Swallow potion. And now I can safely attack this. And he cannot attack me now. That's awesome. Meanwhile, my power shot has been recharged. So let's go here and wait for Mr. Wizard. Hmm, I think he can move and attack. We're gonna risk it. No, he should keep moving. <laughs> there you go. And we got a prison key. Let's investigate. New skill, multi-shot. Deals 3, 40%. Ranged damage attacks up to up to three targets. Hmm. And what it looks like, you can also level up your skills. Because power shot, you see, there's a little yellow bar. So you can also level up skills. And my rogue level up to level two. So let's see, endurance. Three endurance. Lock is probably just a better quality and more loot. Hmm. So it's not for critical strike. Then an agility and another agility, just for fun's sake. Yeah. Close. So let's see what's over here. These are the prisons. So when people of your party died, you probably would find them at the end of the dungeon. That's where the prison cells are. First check the box. We got gold. An unknown armor. And a legacy. Yep. Take all. And how do I identify? Let's see. Is it just use and see what to do it? No. Oh, you can right click it. Level requirement. One. Two armor, one strength, and one endurance. So this is more for a fighter. Okay. I think so. Let's see who this dude is. Hello. And... He just disappeared. Okay. Let's continue. Close to a stack of pizza. A pizza piece. Oh, there he is. Ew. Let's get out of this dungeon. Well, that's a good idea, but I don't want to step on top of this. Don't have a choice, right? No. Okay. There we go. Monster skill, two out of three. Oh, three out. Yeah. 
treasure loot is 6 out of 6. Select your reward. Uh, any info? Hmm. Let's check this shield. And what's gonna give me? It's. Continue. Maybe it's in my inventory. And we got some achievements. Yeah, I don't want to go level to dungeon 2. Inventory, yeah, inventory. I want to give this to my... Uh, what's this? Shield common armor. The box contains unknown treasure of common quality. Right click. Agility, yes, that's exactly what I want. Nice. Look at the damage. Just what I needed. And this one I want to give to my fighter. But how do I dump it into the skill book? Equip new skills by double clicking or dragging them to the skills list below. Or hone the existing one by using gems. Oh my god, what is this all about? Ah yes, but I still got lots of training to do. Item repair, repair equipment. Okay, does anything need repairs then? Yeah. How do I repair it? Oh, repair all. Cost me one gold. Nice. Shared stash. Ah! Buy more space. 1000 crowns. Mm -hmm. And a trader. Ah, we rescue the trader. Ooh, unknown weapon. Hmm. Shield and common weapon. Oh, look at all this. Okay, okay, okay. Legendary forge. Use legendary gems and gold. To force legendary stat points for the same character. These stats stay out of the Oh, so if you get a total wipe, these stats will stay. And I got one. Uh, let's forge for just for fun's sake. And what's gonna happen? One. I just have to go. Yeah, I know. Uh, so maybe the thing I created was one skill point. I have no clue. All right. So let's take our mage. No, 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 no. Fighter. Shared stash empty. I think I have to purchase. Yes, I understand now. Okay, Diana, shared stash. Yes, fighter. Yes, inventory. I see one strength on endurance. That's exactly what Atticus needed. So let's do that first dungeon again, but this time the warrior. Uh, exit. That's probably. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, for 9 euros or 9 dollars. All damage taken is increased by 20%. <laughs> Alright, good luck. 
and we got a shield and a wooden sword. Intellect. Agility. Jeez. Just what a warrior needs, right? And we. I don't think this first dungeon is procedurally generated, but all the other dungeons should be procedurally generated. Mm, let's see. Ooh, he's gonna make a trap. Then I'm gonna walk here. Okay. Ooh. There are my healing potions. I got them. Nice. Five healing potions. Nice. Good timing. Okay. Weapon strike. 120% melee damage. Nice. Mm, so he's gonna move twice. So if I'm gonna stay here. Mm. Red down, gold and mana potions. I think I know what's coming now. Yeah. Mm. He's just gonna walk. Okay. Let's shield bash. Deals melee damage and prevents using skills for two turns. That's awesome against the mage. So let's shield bash him for <coughs> two turns. Okay, now it's just <coughs> hope for the best. Oh, sneaky. <coughs> Could he, yeah, I should really heal. There's his skeleton, but I'm gonna ignore the skeleton. Yes, got him, and and I'll level up strength. Let's do the same: three endurance and two strength. That'll be a good start. Fifteen gold and another armor. What, what? 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 Agility again, so we can sell it or give it to the rogue. Yeah, it's a good one for the rogue, I guess. Ah, uh, there you are. Let's get out of this dungeon. Totally agree. <laughs> Treasure hunter. And we're going for a weapon this time. Continue. Another seal box, of course. Now you can see who completed it. Let's go. We turn to tavern. I think I'm gonna do this cave with each character for the for the skills. We turn. Hmm. Hello. Uh oh. B. Do we have a bug? We turn to tavern. Oh, probably. No, don't don't tell me I gotta do it over again. Yeah. Okay, it's no problem. It's more XP. Air skills again. Continue. <coughs> so that's the game, guys. Um, looks great, and um, so far it's quite fun to play as well. 
So uh, for for nine euros, it's it's a steal. <coughs> really recommend it. Um, hope you like the video and the uh, the game. And see you next time. Bye bye from Kaina.